Hi, everybody. Welcome back. Um, so today is Friday. We made it through yet another week of online learning. Way to go. So um, this week we have been talking about the letter B, which is right behind me. We have the uppercase B and our lowercase B. And B sounds like B. B. I think that you all got that pretty well by now. We have a color right here, blue, that starts with B. We also have black and brown. And I brought back some objects that we started with in the beginning of the week talking about the letter B. So in the beginning of the week, we looked at a few. I brought some, a baseball bat, right? Baseball and bat both begin with the letter blue, uh, blue. both begin with the letter B and so does the color blue. And this is navy blue. All right, then we have the other kind of bat, the bat that flies around, right? This bat also begins with the letter B. We have a broom, broom begins with the letter B. We have a boat, boat begins with the letter B. And then I brought some new objects. Why not? It's Friday, right? So we have a backpack. Backpack begins with the letter B. Who, which princesses are on the backpack? We have Cinderella, Belle, and Ariel. Which of those three princesses have a name that begins with the letter B? Cinderella, Belle, or Ariel? Ding, 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 it's Belle. Belle begins with the letter B. And what book is or movie is Belle from? Beauty and the Beast. And guess what? Beauty starts with B and so does Beast. So Belle, Beauty, and Beast all begin with the letter B. Now, do you think I would bring an empty backpack? You know I wouldn't. So let's see what's inside the backpack. In the backpack, we have a book, a book. This book is the 500 hats of Bartholomew Cubbins. 500 hats, that's a lot of hats. His name is Bartholomew, and that is a long name. And it also happens to begin with the letter B, Bartholomew. We also have a ballerina. Ballerina begins with the letter B. Her head is really wobbly, but I love this doll. She's super soft and cuddly. Ballerina begins with the letter B, and she has a bun on the top of her head. Bun also begins with the letter B. We have a bear. Bear begins with the letter B. We have some bows. Bows begins with the letter B. We have a basketball. Basketball begins with the letter B. And finally, we have a bookmark. Who knows what a bookmark is for? A bookmark, in case you don't know, is for this. If I decided that I was going to read this book, The 500 Hats of Bartholomew Cubbins, and I started to read it and I said, wow, this book is really long. It has a lot of words and it does. You see how many words it has on each page? And it has a lot of pages and I'm reading and I'm reading and I get tired or I get hungry or I have to take a shower or whatever it is and I say, you know what? I think I'm going to finish the book tomorrow. Well, I don't want to just close the book because what if I forget where I was? So I take a bookmark and I put the bookmark right in the book where I finished reading and then I close it. And now tomorrow when I go to read the book, before I open it, I go right to the page where the bookmark is and I open it there. And that, my friends, is where I left off. So that's where I begin to read again. And on this bookmark, which starts with the letter B, it says, the more that you read, the more things you will know. The more that you learn, the more places you'll go. And does anybody know who said that? Dr. Seuss said that. That is a Dr. Seuss rhyme. And it rhymes because what words rhyme in there? The more that you read, the more things you will know. No. The more that you learn, the more places you'll go. So know and go rhyme. So who remembers what is our sight word of the week? Our sight word of the week is little, little. And what is the opposite of little? 
big. So we have little and big. They're opposites, and now you guys know both of them. So I want you to watch a video about little so that you can practice spelling it and reading it yourself. I'll see you when it's done. So I think that you are all now getting a hang of the word little. So what we are going to do today, since it is Friday, it's fun Friday. We're not going to have any worksheets today, but you guys are going to do your own project. And guess what? You get to pick what that project will be. So I will give you some ideas, but you, you can pick one of those ideas or you could do your own, completely your own. Use your creativity. It's all up to you, okay? Just have fun with it. And use whatever you can find around, outside, um, maybe in your backyard, in your house, whatever you might have, because we don't all have all these supplies these days, right? So whatever you can find, get creative. So I will show you a few ideas, but your project should be something about bugs, um, any kind of bug, okay? So butterflies, ladybugs, most of what I'll show you are going to be butterflies, but you could do any bug that you want, okay? All right, so here we have our first project. And again, these are just ideas. Um, this person used paper plates, they cut them up to be the wings and painted them and used popsicle sticks, googly eyes, and it looks like um, pipe cleaners for antennae. Start here. All right, the second one shows us uh, somebody who used, it looks like they painted paper to make wings and they used flower petals and stems to decorate the butterfly. Um, now, if you do this, just use things that you find on the ground outside already. Don't pick any live flowers, let them be. The next one is pretty cool. They, it looks like they traced their hands and cut it out and used their hands for butterfly wings, and then they painted a spoon to be the head and the body, cut out antennae, and they used googly eyes and drew a mouth. This one is beautiful. They cut out the, um, the outline of a butterfly, and then they used tissue paper in different shapes, and they pasted it all in there, and when you hang it in the window, the sunlight shines through, and it looks like a beautiful stained glass butterfly. 
This one used um, toilet paper tubes. They smushed it a little bit and they painted the outside to be colorful and I'm not sure what they used for the antennae and the, um, and the body, but you can get creative. The next one used cupcake liners and they clipped it with a clothespin and painted it. This one used bow tie pasta. They painted it and they used pipe cleaners to wrap around and make the body and the antennae. This one showed the whole life cycle of the butterfly. So they used a paper plate and they, they drew quadrants and they used different items to make all four stages, the egg stage, the caterpillar stage, the chrysalis and the butterfly stage. This one used seashells for wings and painted them. And then they used pipe cleaners for the body and antennae. This one just used um, different color construction papers, scissors, and a marker. And you can do that too. And if you don't have different color construction paper, you could even just use white paper, even recycled white paper with something on the other side and color it or paint it. This one used food. So if you have a lot of projects around your house and you don't want any more, you can make a food project and then you can eat it. Um, this one looks delicious. This one also used a toilet paper tube and they covered it with construction paper, used googly eyes, used pipe cleaners, all different items to make the wings, the antennae, and the legs. This one used a rock to make a ladybug and they painted it. And this one I thought is pretty cool. One, they used a leaf um, and the other, they used a rock and then they used sidewalk chalk to draw the rest of the bug. All right, so that is it, my friends. Those are the few ideas that I'm giving you, but you can do anything that you want. Like I said, just do any kind of project that has to do with bugs. And when you're done, take a picture of it and send it to me. I'm going to put my email in the instructions for today so you can send me the picture of whatever project you did. Um, if you send it to me by Wednesday, actually next week we only have... Um, we don't have school Friday. So if you send it to me by Tuesday next week, I will put it into my Thursday lesson so we can all see the different projects that everybody did, okay? Um, and I think I'm gonna try to find some time to do a project for you too. So everybody send me pictures of your project when you do them, send them to me by Tuesday and we'll all get a chance to share and take a look at them together on Thursday. Now, before you do your project, I want to make sure you join me for story time. We're going to be reading a book today called Butterflies for Kiri. And it's about a girl who does a lot of artwork and she does different projects and she's really trying hard to make an origami butterfly. So I want you to see um, Kiri's journey and see what she learns along the way before you do your project, okay? And at the end of the book, there are instructions to make your own origami butterfly. I think it's pretty difficult. You'll need an adult, um, and that might even be difficult. Origami is not easy, but give it a try. So I'll see everybody in story time. Have a fantastic weekend. Bye.